Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we're going to learn about the applications of the first order differential equations. We're going to uncover a few problems involving Newton's law of cooling, electric circuits, population growth, and radioactive decay. Okay, in this subtopic, you have to be very, very mindful of the keywords such as cooling, growth, and decay. But first, we're going to solve a problem involving population growth. So the question says that, assume that the population of the Earth changes at a rate proportional to the current population. So this is our proportionality sign. So this is like a an incomplete infinity sign. And you have to write down the differential equation satisfied by the population. We have to find T. And you have to estimate the population at time t given the information of the population in the year 1990 and 2000 and hence estimate the population in the year 2020. Okay, so from the first sentence, what we can extract out is that they say that the rate of change of population is proportional to the current population. So it means that when the rate of change increases, the population increases. When the rate of change decreases, the population decreases. Okay? So rewriting this, we would have dp over dt is equal to kp. Okay? When the sign changes from proportionally sign, we would have to add k. Okay? Where k is our proportionality constant. But this, on this exact example, it is called growth constant. Okay? We actually have two exponential problems, which is exponential growth and exponential decay. So when it is talking about growth, okay, our constant would be positive. And when it says about decay, decay decreasing, our constant here would be negative. I'll show you the example of radioactive decay after this, okay? So now, using this piece of information, we can find P, okay? So we can let P, okay, every time you answer this question, you have to let the unknown, okay? Let P be the population at time T. So this is the piece of information we have obtained from the first sentence. And then by applying separation of variable, which I bring dt to the right hand side, p to the left hand side, we collect the alloy terms and then we would have 1 over p dp k dt. Integrating on both sides with respective term, which is dp and dt, in terms of t and in terms of p, we would have ln p equals to kt plus c okay so now we're looking for p so what we can do is we can apply exponentiation so we raise e to the power of ln p e raised to the power of kt plus c this is not bringing ln to the right hand side no we actually do what we actually do is we apply exponentiation okay so let me recall you that e ln x is equals to x and ln e x is equals to x ln e which gives us x okay and then this gives us p equals to e k t plus c and here i apply the properties of exponent so let me recall you again so e m n is equals to e m e n and e m n is equals to e m n all right but since e is a constant and c is another constant a constant raised to a power of a constant so we can rename this as another constant which is a and we can rewrite this as p t equals to a e k t okay so that answers the first part Looking at the second part of the question, so they say that in the year 1990, our estimated population is equal to 3.9 million. Million is 10 to the power of 6. And in the year 2000, our estimated population is 5.3 million. So, we have two pieces of information and we still have two unknowns. Okay, so we have to find P estimated population at time t okay so we can assume that in the year 1990 our t our initial year is t0 and t is 10 
So using these two pieces of information, we can find A and we can find K. Okay, using the first information with P equals to 0, P 3.9, we have P, A, E, K, T, which gives us A equals to 3.9 million. Okay, so we have A. And then using the second information with T equals to 0, P equals to 5.3 million, we have P, A, E, K, T. Okay, and then we have E, 10, K equals to 5.3, divide by 5.3.9. And then, like I have recalled you, I apply this. Okay, we apply ln on both sides to leave us just K, okay? Because ln E, X is X on E, right? Okay, so 10 k is brought to the front and we are left with 10 k equals to ln 5.3 divided by 3.9 k leaving us k equals to 0 0.0307 so we have a we have k and now our population equation is equals to this so this is the estimated population at time t leaving us with only the um variable t okay and then the third part of the question asks us to estimate the population in the year 2020 so in the year 2020 our t is now 30 so we have to find p at that time okay so just substitute t equals to 30 into the equation that we have obtained from part a and part b so since this is estimation so we use the approximation sign. So 3.9, so Ganti substitute T equals to 30, we would have 9.8 million estimated population. So that is all for the exponential growth problem. Okay, moving on to the next example, is on, which is on uh, exponential decay problem. So the rate of change of decay of radioactive substance varies with the mass of the substance remaining. Write down the differential equation that represents this relationship. And if the mass of the substance remaining after 10 years is half of the original mass, what is the percentage of the substance remaining after 7 years? So they have given you the information at 10 years and after 7 years and the original mass. So what you can take out from this uh, example is that they say that the rate of change of the rate of decay of a substance varies with the mass but since this is the decay you would have to put negative in front of the constant so this is how you put it's this is the decay problem so you put negative in front of the constant and then from the third line it says that after 10 years, the mass is half of the original mass. So after 10 years, the mass is half of the original mass. So we can name the original mass as M0, okay? M0, M initial. And then you have to find the percentage of the substance remaining after 7 years. So M is what? But in percentage form. Okay, so these are the information that we can take out from this example. Okay, so let's answer this. So we can let M be the mass of the radioactive substance at time T. So this is the piece of information that we have taken out with the negative in front because it is decay, it is decay. And then apply separation of variable before integrating in terms of M. And in terms of t but don't forget the negative and then we are left with ln m negative kt plus c okay and by applying exponentiation on both sides of the equation we would have m equals to negative e k t e c okay so here's another constant we can rename it into a we would have m t a e negative k t okay but since we can let M0 be the original mass of the radioactive at time T0, so this is another piece of information, we can find, we can actually find A, which gives us M equals to M0, E negative KT, with T equals to 0, okay? 
So we can rewrite this as this. Okay. Okay. Using the second piece of information, which is after 10 years, which is T10, the mass of the substance is half of the mass, initial mass. So we can substitute this information into the equation that we have uh, we have obtained earlier. So we have 10 is T and then half M0 is M and then we would obtain K equals to 0 0.069. Okay, so this I apply ln. It's the same step as before. And now we can re-express this MT equals to M0 E negative 0 0.069 T. Okay, but the question asks us to find the mass in percentage after seven years. So you have to put, you have to substitute t equals to seven into the equation. So we found that the mass after the mass after seven years is 0 .0, 0 0.617 and not. But since we are looking for the percentage, we divide the mass after seven years with the initial mass and times 100% to find the percentage and we would have 61.7 percentage so that is how you answer questions involving exponential problem okay about decay and growth so you have to be very mindful of the constant if it's decay put negative if it's a growth put positive constant okay that is all for today thank you for listening for attending